The government has relaxed rules for allowing foreign direct investment in the construction sector. Uh, Saloni is standing by to tell us how the industries responded to this and what, what's the likely impact. Harsha, clearly, uh, as you were talking earlier as well, we are talking about a floor reduction. Uh, so that's been half, half. We are talking about capital requirements. So that's been reduced by 50%. But importantly, the government may also allow repatriation of profits. So after the project gets completed, uh, builders will be able to sell that project. And even while the project is on, an NRI can sell its stake to uh, bring in another FDI partner. So that's one important point. As far as companies are concerned, we're talking about uh, Purvankara, which works under Provident Housing, its affordable housing unit, Mahindra Life Spaces, uh, Tata uh, Group, Tata Housing. We are also talking about DLF and Unitech who are working uh, in these smaller affordable housing categories as well as Godrej Properties. Uh, what is really changed after these uh, rules uh, will come into place? Largely, it will be a big boost for affordable housing and the smart cities project. So that will be uh, the big takeaway from the relaxation in the FDI rules. Also, largely, if we see off office spaces and the interest that these FDI players will look at because of the reduction in floor prices, it will mean that FDI players will now look at smaller and newer geographies as far as uh, India is concerned. But we may also look at a development in the office space as far as malls are concerned in Delhi and Mumbai. That is what uh, analysts are largely pointing out because it will be a lower risk and high profit return business uh, with regard uh, to the coming in of uh, these FDI rules. But the biggest takeaway, of course, is the fact fact that the government has relaxed this rule so that a uh, good amount of money can come into the smart cities project which is really uh, it really is championing going forward from here onwards